Oops, excuse me. I found a trailer. So let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everyone, my name's Dustin. Welcome to my channel, my flipping chip. I'm really excited for you to be here. I got my awesome daughter Kaya with me here today. Hey guys. And we're gonna go to a few thrift stores. We're gonna see what we can find, not only to flip on eBay for a profit, but we're gonna see also who can find the strangest thing. All right, and the winner gets to pick where we're going for dinner. Yes. Uh, the winner also gets to keep whatever clothes and cool stuff that they pick out for their room. Sound good? Yes. Alright, I wish I wish you luck. You too. Alright, high five. Let's do this. Okay. The temperature right now. 98 degrees. Are you kidding me? How are you feeling, Dad? A little warm. Yeah, it's just way too hot. Just steaming. But it's pretty out. We are So we're in our first thrift store here, The Rack, one of my favorite little spots. It's got plenty of cool stuff here. I can live here. I'm yeah. working. Kai in the jewelry, of course. Yep. So as I'm looking at the kitchen stuff here, it looks like there's a lot of money to be made. We've got a juice pan there. Got some mixers up there. But then I look at the price, and I want like 52 bucks for that. Okay, I found a cool little necklace. I ended up keeping that one. Here's a fun looking sort of starter guitar. It's got a kind of Gibson Fender sort of thing going on. I spot something kind of cool hidden over here. Got some really cool, it looks like puppets. I probably would have brought these home for my own personal collection, but I looked at the price and, well, yeah, they might stay here. Now this store can be hard to find stuff to flip for a profit. It's labeled a thrift store, but there's a lot of antiques and really cool things in here that are somewhat overpriced at times, but once in a while I'll find some stuff that I can flip. Just to let everyone know, I'm in really no desperation for inventory here. Just kind of looking around, seeing if we can find some strange and interesting things. Things that I do find a flip are going to have to be at the right price and not glass. It's kind of a cool little carving there. Okay. Found these like little Star Wars salt and pepper shakers. <laughs> no way. This little butterfly boy. They wanted 30 for the pair on the shakers, and they probably would have ended up in my collection anyway, so we passed on them. Hey, this is from Toy Story. Definitely found the first strangest thing. Okay. Hmm. What the heck? Watermelon picnic basket. Oh. Twenty-two dollars. Oh. Mm. Pretty cool. Now Kai's off on her own little adventure. I'm finding some stuff here that I might be able to resell actually. It's got some ink that's only expired less than a year, so I'll actually take a chance on that if it's worth it. This one here is not expired, awesome, by about a month. And this one's a little over a year, but still should work just fine. I ended up checking all the comps on these, and the only one that was worth grabbing was the one that wasn't expired. And ooh, here we go, some sealed Sony equipment. Now, anytime you find something that's Sony, vintage, and sealed, it's definitely worth checking out. I think I found my second strangest thing of the day. It's these fish. Mm. Mm. I stuck the animal. But then this one's really weird. Oh. 
I think these are mini shells. Oh, cool. There's actually quite a few decent electronics here, things that I would normally pick up, but for $40, jeez, no. Uh, that's pretty much eBay price, so I'm gonna leave those there. Got a nice DVD VCR combo, but a little overpriced here. Unfortunate. Like I was saying, I'm really not desperate for inventory. I usually pick up things like this in the bins for $1.19 plus tax, so. Continuing on, didn't see a whole lot of games that really jumped out. I'm getting into the toys section here. I kind of see something on top. I always like to see new and sealed things. Yeah, there's a little piglet nightlight, kind of cute. This is the most creepy thing I've ever seen. What? This is so creepy. Dress is pretty though. Can you share a little friend? Found. What is this? It says, "No matter you age, no matter your age, the show must go on." Well, guys, find out all the fun stuff. I'm over here in the sort of bathroom section where I find all these sort of cosmetics. I'm looking up all the comps on these. This little sample kit here seemed to go for $25 last time it sold, and at only a dollar, I thought, hey, well, I'll just give them a chance. Not taking up too much space. My favorite find of the day, this Roger Rabbit gift wrap set from 1987. Still sealed. It's got some creases in the corners there, and the bow is flattened, but still a really awesome piece. The collector's going to want this. There's some writing on there. That was a good pickup when they're new and sealed, so toner. And the price for the pair of those decoys, it looks like they were $12 a piece. Now, I've never sold these before, so I'm not sure if these are really good ones. Uh, let me know in the comments if you know if I made a mistake passing these up. Now, always one of my favorites to sell. If I could sell nothing but baseball gloves, I would. Uh, uh, this one was a Dave Parker model Rawlings. But at a $10 price point, I mean, I still probably could have made five, six dollars on it. Here's some North Dakota State University socks for a dollar. Nice little University of Minnesota hoodie there. And a bunch of hats here. There's actually a lot of good hats in here. I always love to pick up hats. Especially when they're in the bins for like maybe 50 cents to a dollar by weight. But all the hats here were around six dollars a piece, which ain't too bad, you know, if you can get at least 20 for them. Got some good golf and college stuff here. I would have picked up probably five or six of these hats if they weren't six dollars a piece. Another pretty cool one. Definitely strange. Let's see what is it? Pyros de Senos? Yeah. 39. Hmm. Awesome plan. Definitely. And they also had some more health and beauty stuff like this pomade near the front there, which I grabbed a few of. There's a couple different kinds. And at a buck a piece, why not? Alright, so. After our first uh, thrift store there, I think Kai's probably in the lead for finding the strangest thing, I would say. So far, yeah, I found uh, some really good stuff to resell. Now we're heading to a little video game store in Shakopee, Minnesota. We're here. Did we see anything cool? That's what, that's what we're gonna do. Yep, got, a little, got some credit here, so we'll see what we can find. Wow, 
watch her just tear through World 1 1 on Super Mario Brothers like she owned a Nintendo back in 1988. One of our favorite systems to play is the Wii. What a beautiful sight there. Also another one of our favorites, Guitar Hero. So, pretty crazy in that entire awesome store. I didn't, I didn't find anything. I, I asked the um, store person if they had like this one like Funko Pop thing, but they didn't. Um, there's always next time though. Yeah, still got a credit. We'll find something someday. Yep. So we're heading to our next Goodwill, but first, we're just gonna take a little break, have a little fun, do some disc golfing. Oh, are you kidding me? That was so close. That weekend we also did a little kayaking on Lake Anne in Shanhassen, Minnesota. This is a really fun course here. Too bad. Not terrible. Almost hit that fort. Yeah. Let's go. That was really good. Far. Just a gorgeous day to be floating along on the lake here. Yes! So, <laughs> peace out. So I hope you're all relaxed and recharged and ready to do some more thrifting. So I still like to check them out, but I'm always really selective with sealed puzzles. This is a pretty cool subject matter, but it was $8.99 and there's no comps. Got this like this dragon. Uh, pterodactyl. Cool. Huh. They're both only $1.99. Oh, cool. Uh, sweet. Completed the set. A complete set. <laughs> In this Monopoly house divided, there was like 500 listed and only 14 sold for like 5 plus shipping. So I picked one of these up before and it took a really long time to sell, so I just decided to leave it there. Here's a nice one that I'll end up picking up. Disney theme park, Ratatouille. Alright, so I heard something called my name, so I followed it. Ooh. Like nice. Superior, Unsalted, and Shark Freight. <laughs> and I live right next to Lake Superior. So. Awesome hoodie. I like it. Absolutely. Guys, look at this. We might have something here. These two Raggedy Ann dolls want to dress. And then one of the corduroys, personally my favorite. How much are they? Um, $3.99. $3.99. Oh cool. Is there like a some embroidery? Yep. Alright. Nice. Cool. Should we get them? Yep. Okay. Ratatouille. 
Oh boy, Remy. I also found this like really cute like bird. It's cuckoo. Huh. Cuckoo It's, what's her name? It's not Fluttershy. It's not Rainbow Dash. Twilight Sparkle. Oh. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> But this nice collection. sounds so pretty good and I just found it. Yep. Good find. Look at this sick candle I found. Mm. The bottom looks really cool too. Still mind the price tag, but huh. look at that. Yeah. This looks like an agate. Yeah. It's like the details. Mm-hmm. How much is it? $6.99. Mm. Oh, it's a good hat, but it's too much for a hat. Okay. Yeah, I found this weird <laughs> hot dog. What is this? Is it a, uh, like a dog toy? Yeah. St. Paul Saints Stadium Giveaway, the real Cougar Town. That is ugly. That may be. She's like, I'm not ugly, you're ugly. That may be one of the stranger things of the day. Yep. $3.99. We are out of Goodwill, second Goodwill, and now we are going to discuss won the competition. Let us know what you guys thought down in the comments there. What do you think was the strangest item? Uh, we we kind of discussed it. We thought that that Cougar Town bobblehead was probably the weirdest, like, For sure. what's going on here type of thing. Yeah. And then so. the, the shoes. Those crazy shoes that I found. Those ones were like, it's either between that or that. Or like, those few of those like stuffed animals that I found. So, which team are you on? Team Dustin or Team Kaya? <laughs> Let us know. So I think what we decided was, is that bobblehead. And uh, Kaya says that maybe I saw it first, but I think I think we both kind of saw it together. I think, I kind of want Taco Bell. What do you think? I kind of want Taco Bell too. Taco Bell sounds good. Yeah, that's where we're gonna go. <laughs> we got the food and we're eating it in the car. So when we get home, we can give you guys a haul of all the cool stuff we got. Cheers. Cheers. Alrighty, we're back home and I'm gonna show you all the cool stuff I got. First I'm gonna show you is that this necklace. It's a little spiral kind of thing. I thought it was really cool so I had to pick it up. Next up, we have this volleyball. Um, I had to get it because the colors are really cool and it's like, the one, I the one I have in the garage isn't like the best. So I just pick up a new volleyball, bam. Okay, it's probably one of my favorite things is this shark squishmallow. Oh my gosh. I just, I had to get it. I just 
I had to. And it's just the cutest ever. And then I thought this was funny. Because I didn't even pick the um, shark one up first. But I found this. And Lake Superior. I live with my mom. And I live right next to Lake Superior. And um, unsalted and shark free. And I thought that was super funny because after I got this, I picked up a shark. So I thought that was funny. And then um, I have these like really weird stuffed animals. Or like, I don't know. There's this, this dragon. It's really neat. And then we have a pterodactyl. Ter I don't know how to say it. Really cool. And then we got this like, Kimono liz lizard or something. Really neat. Yeah, that's that's what I got. It's my haul. Goodwill. Pretty awesome stuff. I have to say, this and this are my favorite. Yeah, I really like that dragon. Me too. It's one of the weird items that I found. Yeah, not a bad haul at all. Spent around $77, and I should get that back with the HP LaserJet ink there and these Sony headphones. Uh, both of those should sell pretty quick and I'll be in the profit already. This was a really nice plush. That seemed to go for, well, one had sold for around 15. Uh, these might go for around 10, 12. I got three of each kind here. And these were comping out. Uh, I might be able to get 15 to 20 each for these. Only a dollar piece. And this one was the only one that wasn't expired. This was a really nice find by Kaya here. This should get some good profit. Pretty cool. These just, uh, you know, probably not going to be a big sale, but somebody's going to want these. This is kind of a wild card here. I mean, this could be worth 10 bucks, could be worth 110. I'm really not sure. Did not look these up yet, but I just thought that was too cool. It does say 1987. So, pretty awesome there. So he's a quick seller. And then uh, the vintage pair here. Well, that about wraps up today's video, guys. Thanks so much for stopping by. We really appreciate it. Hope you had some fun right along with us. Congratulations when you find those crazy, weird items and flip them for a profit. And until next time, my hat's off to you. Yes! Upside down with a uh, hideout is $2,000!